You know, I get a lot of emails asking me, what's an intelligent PNID? Well, if you want to know, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Greg Steinig with CAD Partner, the makers of SMAP 3D plant design software. I get a lot of emails just like this one. Greg, I hear a lot about intelligent PNIDs. It seems like everyone has intelligent this and intelligent that. What exactly is an intelligent PNID? Signed, stuck in the 1800s with AutoCAD. Well, stuck in the 1800s with AutoCAD? That's a great question. Let's ask Michael Mooney for an explanation. Thank you, Greg, and that's a great question that we get asked a lot. So let's jump into SMAP 3D PID and let's take a look at what we mean by intelligence. Um, it's a can be an overused word sometimes these days, and so with our system being project-based, we can have many different types of diagrams, reports, uh, breaking things down into different chapters, so we get table of contents. I got a diagram chapter here where I have my actual schematic sheets, as well as getting into bills of materials. So this is something unique we're able to do because we have the intelligence built into the system and the components to be able to create a bomb. Also component lists so that you know what they are, where they're being used. And so if we look at a diagram sheet here, we can see that if I don't know what this symbol is, I can hover over it and it tells me what it is. If I want to know what size this pipeline is, I hover over it and, and again, it tells me what it is. It's an 80 millimeter spec 900. Where does this actually, that goes off to another sheet? Where does it pick up? If I got hundreds of sheets, I might not remember where it goes. And so it puts your mouse cursor right on where it picks up and continues onto that page. Not only that, but having as, um, information as far as exactly who makes it, what horsepower pump it is, uh, all the details about it, and uh, getting into this valve. <clears throat> These are very valuable pieces of information that we typically don't have in a traditional CAD package that, or 2D CAD package that has been adopted to have some symbols to represent P&ID components. And so being that we're from the ground up built for P&IDs and schema schematic captures, we can also uh, embed more information as far as like, hey, what uh, sizes of connections are here? Um, this is a purchase part, so instead of actually having to go out and find the, the manufacturer's web page, I can embed a PDF or any type of Windows document that has all the details of that purchase component. And not only that, with all of this intelligence, now that we're ready to go to the next level and take it into 3D, we have all of the information that's already there, what it connects to, what sizes it is, and then it also knows what 3D part to go and grab if when you bring it into your SolidWorks or Solid Edge uh, assembly, for example. So this is what we mean by intelligence, and you can really be extremely powerful and also be able to leverage uh, pipe specs right from the P&ID. So you're, you're applying this information and not having to recreate the wheel on the 3D side. So that's a great question. I'm glad we were able to, uh, to address it here. So thanks, Greg. Thanks, Michael. Sounds like there's a lot of intelligence in our SMAP 3D PNID program. If you want to know more, our contact information is at the end of this video. If you found this helpful, please subscribe.